Arsenal-linked Ajax forward Mohamed Kudus has issued a fiery response after a social media account claimed his difficult representatives caused a proposed transfer to Brighton to collapse. The 23-year-old Ghana international appeared to be heading to the Premier League this summer when the Seagulls reached an agreement in principle for his signature. Kudus was set to cost around £34.5 million. However, for the time being at least, the player remains in Amsterdam after Brighton seemingly walked away from negotiations. Arsenal and North London rivals Tottenham continue to be mooted as possible suitors, though, before the deadline passes at 11pm on Friday, September 1. Kudus, who signed for Ajax three years ago, scored for the Eredivisie Giants in the season Curtain Razor vs Heracles Almelo on Saturday night, playing the entire 90 minutes. He has been unable to completely sidestep debate on his future, though, as highlighted in a short social media exchange. Having taken first steps in his career back in Ghana, the 24-cap international moved to Danish outfit Norge Jelland on a free transfer before the 2018-2019 season. After two years there, Ajax paid €9 million Euros for his services and Kudus has since topped up 85 games for the Amsterdam Giants, providing 24 goals and 11 assists. Newcastle United boss Eddie Howe has all but ruled out a move for Arsenal defender Kieran Tierney this summer. Tierney has been one of many players tipped to leave Mikel Arteta's side this summer. The 26-year-old has lost his place in the Gunners' side in the last 12 months following Oleksandr Zinchenko's arrival from Manchester City last year. He did make 36 appearances across all competitions last season, although only 15 of them were starts. Jurian Timber's £34.2 million switch from Ajax placed further doubt over his future, with a list of clubs interested. Premier League side Newcastle have been said to be monitoring the Scotsman's situation closely for a while. A return to Celtic had also been tipped earlier in the window, whilst La Liga outfit Real Sociedad reportedly had a loan offer knocked by Arsenal. Newcastle United boss Eddie Howe has all but ruled out a move for Arsenal defender Kieran Tierney this summer. Tierney has been one of many players tipped to leave Mikel Arteta's side this summer. The 26-year-old has lost his place in the Gunners' side in the last 12 months following Oleksandr Zinchenko's arrival from Manchester City last year. He did make 36 appearances across all competitions last season, although only 15 of them were starts. Jurian Timber's £34.2 million switch from Ajax placed further doubt over his future, with a list of clubs interested. Arsenal and Tottenham could be about to go head-to-head -head for Barcelona attacker Ansu Fati after reports in Spain suggested he has decided to leave the Spanish giants. Fati has been one of the most exciting players in European football since breaking through the La Masia Academy. The 20-year-old is the club's and the Champions League's youngest ever goalscorer after bursting onto the scene in 2019. Since becoming a first-team regular, the forward has scored 29 goals and produced a further 10 assists in 110 appearances. However, he has slowly fallen down the pecking order under Xavi for a number of reasons. And despite reports consistently linking him with a move away, Xavi has continued to remain coy on Fatty's future. I don't understand when you say I'm not very convincing on the matter. Until the window shuts, anything can happen, he said, as per 4-4-2, after Arsenal's 4-2 preseason win over Barcelona. Earlier this summer, it was reported that Mikel Arteta's side had an approach immediately turned down by both Fatty and Barcelona, but it's now understood that the Spain international has changed his mind over his future at the Camp Nou only one week into the new season. It's reported in Spain that Fatty has now decided to leave the club in order to gain regular game time, leaving Arsenal and Tottenham on red alert. Arsenal have reportedly entered the market for a replacement after the injury to Jurian Timber and have now reportedly opened talks with Manchester City outcast and Barcelona target Joao Cancelo, according to 90 Minutes. The Gunners thought they had solved one defensive problem with the capture of versatile defender Jurian Timber from Ajax in a £38 million deal. However, the Dutchman picked up a nasty knee injury on his Premier League debut against Nottingham Forest on the opening day. The club later confirmed that the defender had sustained damage to his ACL, which will rule him out for a lengthy period, likely the entire season, after undergoing scans. With Alexander Zinchenko still out of action having not featured for the club since May, the Gunners have decided to dip into the transfer market to solve this issue before the window slams shut at the end of the month.
The 29-year-old was a key star for Pep Guardiola until a breakdown in his relationship with the manager midway through last season. He spent the remainder of the season at Bayern Munich on loan. After the temporary stint ended, the Bundesliga champions turned down the opportunity to sign Cancelo on a permanent deal. Since returning to the Etihad, Cancelo's career has been in limbo a bit. He is yet to be fully involved back in the first team and has been left out of all four of their matchday squads so far this season, with a move away expected in the coming weeks of the transfer window. The Gunners opened up their 2022-23 campaign in South London against Crystal Palace and walked away with a 2-0 win which kick-started their stellar season. However, trips to Selhaust are never easy. Mikel Arteta's evolving outfit are still finding their feet this season with the Spaniard implementing a more fluid system with more moving parts. However, their campaign got off to a winning start as they edged out Nottingham Forest 2-1 at the Emirates. Palace were also successful on match day one as they beat Sheffield United 1-0 away from home. While Michael Ellis committed his long-term future to the club in the week, he's currently nursing a hamstring injury and will miss Monday's game. Will Hughes is also set to miss out after picking up an injury in preseason. However, Roy Hodgson otherwise has no concerns and he could pick the same starting 11 from last Saturday's win at Bramall Lane. Jurian Timber was added to the injury list in the week with the Gunners expected to be without their new signing for much of the season. The Dutchman joins Gabriel Jesus on the sidelines. There could be a return to the squad for Alexander Zinchenko on Monday, although I wouldn't expect him to start given his lengthy injury layoff. Thus, with doubts over Kieran Tierney's future, Takahiro Tomiyasu should start at left back. David Raya arrived at the club ahead of the trip to Palace, but Aaron Ramsdale will continue between the sticks for the visitors. Gabriel should also come back into the team. Crystal Palace vs Arsenal predicted lineups, Palace, Johnstone, Ward, Anderson, Gay, Mitchell, Lerma, Ducor, Ayu, Is, Schlupp, Edward. Arsenal, Ramsdale, White, Saliba, Gabriel, Tomiyasu, Party, Rice, Odegaard, Saka, Nkidia, Martinelli. While Palace are now without Wilfried Zaha and Michael Alice will be missing on Monday, Roy Hodgson's return renders the Eagles a tough out. The veteran manager has developed an impressive rapport with this group of players, with Eberecki Ease the standout figure whom Arsenal must contain. Ease has the capacity to win the contest for the home side on his own. Nevertheless, many will expect the Gunners to claim all three points on Monday. Palace's transition threat is certainly less potent in the absence of their two-star wingers, and the visitors should be able to control proceedings from the off. They must, however, offer a more clinical edge in the final third compared to last weekend. Hodgson's sides are notoriously tricky to break down.